Hi there. Today we are looking at a Trader 50 from 1983. Now, if you wanted to live aboard a boat pretty much anywhere from the 80s to today, this is the boat you would probably choose. It's big, it's got great accommodation. British design boat built in, I believe, Taiwan. It's got some teak decks. You can see here, it's got the bulge of an aft cabin. And you can probably gauge from here that it's a pretty big aft cabin. Really nice open space. So let's go and have a look around the decks. Quite high boarding. You board through this pop-over gate here. And enter by this really nice wide side deck. There's a door this side, straight into the main cabin, but we'll go around the deck first to give you an idea of the size of this vessel. So lots and lots of four deck space. Decent ground tackle, anchor winch, big, big anchor, decent sized cleats, nice fair leads, electronic anchor winch buttons, decent high rail, needs a bit of attention, but a lot of four deck space. Big, big windows, decent wipers. A couple of steps up takes you to this very, very large aft deck. You can see from the frame here, you can have this covered if you wanted. There's access, escape hatches through all the cabins there and over here. And at the back here, there's steps down to bathing platform at water level, and you've got conventional davits for the tender. Outboard storage, good lock of storage either side, one and two. And you've got three steps up takes you to the upper helm sort of fly bridge I suppose as it was in its day very very large ship's wheel and conventional for this era really that selects the the um, engine controls and that's the gears I could have got it the wrong way around please let me know in the comments if I have a couple of storage cupboards either side gives you a really good view over the foredeck and under this plastic cover here, you've got your conventional engine controls. Again, these have been a little bit sun hazed, but you get the idea. Start, stop buttons, rev counters, fuel, engine pressure, oil pressure, that sort of thing. View forward. And if you're coming stern to, again, really good view over the aft deck. Got an open array Raymarine radar, nav lights, TV aerial up there. Normally you'd have cushions all around the side here. Big storage bin under the seat. Again, storage down both sides. If I look over here, you can see the side decks. Just a big, big amount of space. Lots and lots of entertaining space. And if you're living on board, this would be your outside patio. So let's go and have a look inside. You've got to remember this boat is from 83. The first thing we do is step inside, we arrive at the helm position. Again, fairly conventional, large ship's wheel. The separate engine and gear selectors. Got a uh, more modern VHF radio. Got the conventional radio that came with it. Up here, depth gauge. Again, standard horizon VHF radio up there. This, believe it or not, is the old Sea Trek autopilot. Forward of the helm here, you've got a couple of steps down into the forward accommodation. A couple of seats here the current owners put in for, for navigators. Very large, round family dining area. Absolutely fantastic space in here. Big windows all the way around. Nice grab handle, so when you're at sea, you've got something to hold on to. And then three inserted seats down the side here. TV, you've got, again, big windows at the back, 
giving you views over the aft deck. Couple of steps, couple of steps down into the galley. It's a big galley area. Bear in mind, this is very much a liverboard style boat. So you've got a full gas cooker, a grill, four burner gas hob, overhead storage, a couple of opening port lights, which is nice. Sink, a bowl and a half sink, I suppose you'd call that. Draining board. Some space down here for something, could be a fridge or washing machine, whatever you fancy. Cup storage, and then again, a fair amount of overhead storage. On the other side, we've got two fridges, a bit of extra storage behind that cupboard, lots and lots of workspace. Again, you can see this is very much a boat that somebody's living on. But the neat thing is, you want to get up in the night and have a quick cup of tea, or in the morning, you've got access to the aft cabin. Okay, this is where this boat really majors. A diagonally set, full-size double bed. That's got walk around, so you can walk around and get around both sides of the bed. Lots and lots of storage, all the way around. Sliding cupboards behind. Again, lots of space down the side here. There's a little sofaette by the side of the uh, bed there. Dressing table over here. TV, those hatches that we looked at on the foredeck, give you plenty of light down in here. There's a big, 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 big hanging wardrobe with drawers below. You can access through to the galley, large mirror here, and you've got access to your own ensuite heads. So conventional loo, but this is the interesting bit. Bath, okay, three quarter bath, I suppose, and a conventional shower. Opening port lights, so you can get some decent ventilation through here, let them moisture out, you've had a shower sink and you've got some big storage cupboard underneath and which is quite nice as well there's a teak matted floor there so if you did get wet you don't want to be slipping over but the feature really is as a liverboard and this is just one of three cabins you've got a decent full-size bed and again really good standing headroom you know lots and lots of room lots of natural light somewhere you could absolutely live so let's go back through the saloon up those couple of steps these hatches you can see under the floor here one and two they'll give you service access through to the engines and this is both got a couple of v8 caterpillars again that really friendly family dining area helm seat door out and as i mentioned when we came aboard there's another door on that side just over here. So we take again a few steps forward down into the forward accommodation on the port on the starboard side there's a couple of bunk beds in this cabin a lot of people and particularly this owner use this for storage. Cupboards down there and the cupboard down here and then over on the port side we've got a twin cabin so one bed that side another bed on the other side got some overhead shelving We've got overhead ventilation side window and two really nice opening port lights so it's really nice to get some fresh air and light in here storage cupboards all down the side someone's done a nice job of putting some uh, driftwood handles on there back out into the main passageway forward again and then on the port side here we've got Sort of the lower accommodation heads as you can see sink same sort of drain out floor loo is away on this one but normally you'd have a, a conventional pump out loo there again it's nice on this boat every cabin's got opening port light and then you've got storage behind here with bits and pieces and another bit of conventional daylight through there lovely teak doors all around that takes us forward to the forward rebirth. Quite high up, but again, decent headroom. Ventilation from two port lights, both sides. Decent sized beds, TV. I suspect behind here, I uncatch it, is another very, very deep actually, incredibly deep. Uh, 
almost double hanging space in there in that wardrobe. Drawers at the bottom. Again, beautiful solid doors. Just catch that back up. And there you go. So that is a liverboard trader. Or oh, the other thing I forgot is in this forward cabin you've got a sort of Jack and Jill access through to the heads. But I won't open it because it's currently got a load of wetsuits hanging on it. So V berth forward, heads. Double bunk cabin. Twin berths. Up a few steps into the saloon. So there you go, that is a Trader 50 from 1983. And if you're the captain, this is the view you'd have from the downstairs helm position as you're driving along. Really good sea boat. It is definitely the kind of boat you could pretty much take around the world. Probably do about 15, 17 knots uh, flat out, and I would think around about 10 to 12 knots would be a comfortable cruising speed. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time around. <laughs>